video for Dying Light 2. This one's going to be uh, in the next series or episode 4 of how to combat certain uh, infected types. Uh, maybe I'll do human types later on down the line, but there, I mean, there's only like really three different types of classes for people, and all of them are a bit different. Like you have the heavy, normal attacking dude, and then uh, the the ranged like combat guy. And there's also a spear one, but he kind of lies into like being the heavy attack as well. But uh, I want to go over this one if I can actually find it. But this is going to be going over hopefully the banshee. Uh, Normally you can find them in this area. This is the only like real place I can find them. It's like a big old hole in the ground. It's actually part of the story. Uh, but this type of zombie jumps around. It's a uh, mostly uh, I want to say really passive type zombie. So it's it doesn't really prefer hand to hand combat by any means. It's a really small kind of real really easy to kill enemy that only takes like two to three swings to, to take out. But it's able to bounce around and use a bunch of parkour moves to jump on top of zombies and things like that uh, to be able to take stuff out. It has like weird needle like claws and it'll actually jump on top of zombies and jump from any kind of surface to going, coming in for a pounce attack. Uh, it's not really that uh, common at all, so it is kind of weird to see, so that's why I had to go down here to go find it. Uh, you can find it in like a weird special like open world events that will be marked for you to come and find and that will be kind of on like the same lines as like the bolter or anything like that so it's a really weird passive version of a zombie so it's a uh, very different Let's see if we can actually kill it off any of these runners there's so many of them dang Yeah, as you can see there, it jumped up and hits it. I mean, it's really hard to actually miss or not, not be able to track. It does have like a weird glowing, like yellow signature coming from its arms there, or like a light. So it's not really that hard to, to lose. And there's so many of these guys. Yeah, as you can see there, it comes in for pounces. So it wants to run away and it'll jump up. It'll probably get up close to you, but you normally can run up to it and easily just go up and swing at it. It comes in for a swing, has like weird, really long nails or like fingers that are almost like razor sharp. You can knock it over, swing a couple times and take out. There's no really way for you to counter it or grapple it and then throw it around or anything like that. It's really straightforward. It bounces around on top of zombies and dives at you from different locations and just kind of make it to where it's really hard to attack. So really the best way i found is to, to attack it is either wait for it to pounce and you run up to it and just swing at it a couple times. It really takes no effort. There's no real actual input to, you know, solidly combat this thing. It's not really, again, not really that aggressive uh, for a head-on combat. But if it is trying to bounce around on zombies or get into longer distances, that's when you can use a good mix of ranged weapons. Uh, again, throwing knives or uh, crossbow, uh, normal bows the uh, boomstick or anything like that so anything along those lines would work obviously you don't want to go into the hot zone where i had to find them here where there's a bunch of virals anywhere but you know also a good place to farm at if you really want a bunch of them all at once but uh yeah it's gonna be a real quick one it's not really showing a whole lot in combat right off the bat here it's kind of really hard to show really a whole lot of because it's just in a really weird way on how it works i mean obviously you know come in for a takedown if you want to and lock on. It's uh, similar to the viral pounce, like the viral pounce like that. It'll do that. It shares the, the same ability. Like that. But it comes in for a larger slice and it'll do a little bit more damage than the normal pounce. But it just bounces around and get into like longer ranged combat. So uh, there's actual missions through bounty hunts and stuff that'll tell you to take them out with longer range weapons so you kind of get the idea of you know trying to trying to promote you and trying to show you how to fight those things normally so that is one thing you want to see there like as you see there it jumped on top of that zombie's head and tried to dive at me so you're able to just to move out of the way it's not hard to dodge at all use swings it will try to dodge and move out of your way a bunch of times so it does have the dodging ability of a viral or volatile anything that really has a dodging ability so it is really agile, but it does not come in for direct hits. It jumps on everywhere and tries to dive at you. So uh, just a real quick video showing that thing is still fairly low tier of an enemy. 
It just works a little bit differently and is a good different variant of a viral, very similar to the last episode, which is the Drowner. And has a good mix of two different things as well. Uh, if you guys want to go see that, go ahead and check it out. Uh, it's going to be a really cool uh, video, especially for it, it being like an enemy type that a lot of people don't really know how to get to. Or especially new players anyway, because it's, it's only unlockable if you pick a certain choice in the game. Or a game changing choice later on down the road. I'm not going to be talking about the story or anything to avoid spoilers. Because this game is still fairly uh, fairly recent, so I don't really want to go into that. Uh, but yeah, so I recommend checking all the other ones out. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If, if you have any more tips on how to take these things out or any other easy way of doing it, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next one.